Welcome to the Girl Show, everybody. My name is Girl Vana, and today I've got a gameplay for you on the Majestic Map Pack DLC. Um, I kind of told you about this yesterday when I was doing the Flash of Light achievement guide. I also got the, I believe it's called Bringing the Big Guns achievement, which is to call three ordinances in one game. Um, so I thought I would make a gameplay video. I do, normally do not upload gameplay videos, as you probably know if you've been watching my channel. I find them generally boring. I mean, why watch someone play a game? If there's no specific point, like if there's no achievement guide or anything. I mean, some can be good, you know, if people have really good commentary and they keep it interesting. I, however, do not tend to watch gameplay videos. But this one I found really um, enjoyable as far as playing it. And also, I think you guys would enjoy watching it. Not just that, but also during this... Um, during this gameplay, you will see me get the Flash of Light achievement, and like I said, the Bring in the Big Guns achievement, which is to call in three ordinances in one game. I don't think that's really that big of a challenge. Um, I think in a free-for-all match, it might be. I, I don't really know. I don't really use ordinances all that much. And in fact, I mainly play uh, game types that have no ordinance uh, capability in the game type, so I don't really use them. Also, I don't really find them. I don't really find the ordinance. Uh, gameplay mechanic too cool i know it's kind of like kill streaks and they're trying to make it more like call of duty and I, I can understand that but honestly the the whole point of halo like 3 and halo 2 and all that was that you know you there were certain areas where the weapons weapons would be and you would have to find and know where people were with those weapons and you know you would have to know where these people were so that you could control the game and make your team win with this anyone can get ordinances now and you never know who has what and everybody seems to have a power weapon at some point so I don't really like how they did that, So, but at least they give you the option of playing um, t game types without ordinances, right? So, anyways, I thought this was a good gameplay. I thought you guys might like to see it. Also, I get two achievements. As you can see here, for the most part, I'm going for the um, Flash of Light achievements. You can see that's why I keep throwing these freaking useless pulse grenades. Um, and I forget at what point exactly I do actually get the achievement. I think I switch to just going all out because Halo is very fun to me. Halo is probably my one of my favorite game types or game franchises, if not my favorite. Um, actually, I think the Elder Scrolls is my favorite. Halo is probably a close second. I have very fond memories about Halo, um, and I like to think I'm pretty good at it. And keep in mind, this is only the second game. I've played since uh, the Crimson Map Pack DLC, and I barely played that DLC. So this is me jumping into this after playing Call of Duty. So if I seem like I suck, even though I think I did pretty good in this match, that's because I have not been Halo playing Halo at all. And I'm sure you all know, since you're all gamers, I'm sure you all know that jump it takes to go from one game to the next as far as controls. Although this one is very similar to Call of Duty as far as the sprint button and whatever and the crouch button. Um, so there's really no excuses, I guess. But I think I did pretty good. Like I said in the other video for the Flash of Light Achievement Guide, I came in first place and I was going for the Flash of Light Achievement like pretty much half the game. Um, did I already get it? I haven't really been paying it. Now it looks like I'm still throwing these pulse grenades. So, you know, if I can come in first when I'm going for this crappy achievement, just throwing pulse grenades all the time, I think that's pretty good. I'm not trying to blow my, toot my own horn here, just saying. Um... So yeah, I'm actually very surprised I can find a lot to talk about in this uh, seven minute video. Um, I wonder how close I actually am to unlocking the achievement. I know it, it was somewhere around halfway and then we're at like four minutes here and this is pretty much like a seven minute video. Um, so, you know, if you want more insight on this achievement, watch this video. You can see like the, the trouble I'm having because this achievement is just really, really stupid. I hate... You know, a lot of people complain about multiplayer achievements. I don't really mind multiplayer achievements as long as they're not luck. And it seems like 343 wants to put a lot of luck-based achievements in. And I freaking hate that because achievements are achievements, you know? It's it's something that you achieve that you have to be good at. Like, you, you, it's not about luck. Okay, and I can understand to a certain point luck achievements, but don't make, like all of them luck based I mean I haven't really looked too much at this achievement list I've just done the achievement guide videos for the ones that this is where I actually get the flash of light I still can't believe I did this I, I don't know if the initial implosion killed them or what um that was just like I think if I waited a millisecond longer um I wouldn't have got it so I'm extremely happy I got it 
I wonder if I already called an ordinance in. I can't remember if I did or not. And the whole time I'm talking with this guy, like, just, I'm, I'm actually telling people, like, hey, guys, can you just, like, bunch up and let me throw these grenades at you? Um, I didn't actually think they'd oblige me, and they didn't. But, you know, if they did, I would, because honestly, I'm not above boosting if it's stuff like this, because I, I just do it legit, because honestly, it's faster. I don't like going online, meeting, meeting eight people, getting a whole group together to boost an achievement. Um, I like sort of just, you know, Advent Garden going at it, and usually I can get achievements. I think it's like my willpower, because I want the achievements so bad that I end up getting them regardless. Um, there are very few achievements that I won't end up going for, and it's not about being an achievement whore. I, I've been called that by my friends in like a joking way. It's it's really not about being an achievement whore. I just like completing things, and achievements add to the game in my opinion. It's like an extra list of things to go for, so it increases value. So I like going for it. It's like little challenges that you can do that everyone can see, and you can show them off. So it's not. I don't. I really don't care about gamer score honestly. I rather care about them seeing like you know 60 out of 60 achievements, and if you go look at my profile on xbox live you'll see i max most of them most of them so here you can see i got calling in the big guns for 40 g's which is to get three ordinance drops in one game again i don't really know if that's too good I, I honestly don't think you have to be too good at this game to get that because it seems like i get ordinance drops um quite frequently um just some more insight on that achievement though you can equip the ordinance priority to get them faster i didn't have that on so apparently this achievement is kind of easy because i didn't even have the um mod that will let you get it a hundred times more easily uh when i went for it so so i can see i just won first place and i was so surprised myself i didn't even keep track of it and i was like wow really i won first place that's amazing so stay tuned for more achievement guys for this dlc guys and have a great day